So now that we've looked at their shapes, um, we I want to talk about cumulative frequency. Um, went ahead and kept the data here. We're counting up our frequencies again. But what is cumulative frequency? So cumulative frequency, this is about the number of text messages sent um, on a particular day. And a cumulative frequency adds up all of the values in that interval and below that interval. So if we just start out here in the very first column, right? How many people sent between zero to seven text messages? Well, 11 people did, right? Well, that means our cumulative frequency is also 11, okay? Pretty basic because that first interval is your very beginning. So it's at 11 and below is just 11. But if I go next to my um, eight to 15, all right, two people uh, sent uh, eight to 15 text messages, your cumulative frequency is now these two people and these two people together. So you're adding those together, which gives me a total of uh, 13, right? Um, and then that basically just continues all the way down the, all the way down the line. So to get the cumulative fre uh, frequency of 16 to 23, you take your 13 from the pre previous two intervals, add it to three, you get 16, 18, 19, 20, and 21, right? So it's really interesting to see how the cumulative frequency just adds up all of those intervals that lead up to it. And that's really helpful when we ask for different things. So for example, when we start to look at cumulative frequencies, um, I'm gonna skip this one right here, but when we look at cumulative frequencies, we wanna be able to ask things like this right here. For example, um, what is the total number of students in this class? Well, that's actually a cumulative frequency. So we can get a cumulative frequency from a tape, from a histogram, as well as a table, right? So a cumulative his, uh, frequency takes all of these frequencies, two, four, five, four again, and one, and adds all of those together, right? So cumulative frequency adds everybody together for the, if this is the entire health class, for Kyra's entire health class. So two plus four, six, six plus uh, five, 11, plus four more, 15, plus one more, 16 people in uh, Kyra's health class. So that's what's interesting about cumulative frequency is it does give us this idea of total. So that hopefully uh, feels good. You're able to create histograms. You have two more there you can practice with. Um, you can use cumulative frequency to understand their shapes and we understand how to create them. Pretty basic stuff.